हेलो स्टूडेंट कैसे आप सब लोग होपफुली आप सभी स्वस्थ होंगे प्लीज स्टे होम स्टे सेफ एंड यूटिलाइज दिस क्रूसल टाइम इन स्टडिंग एंड लर्निंग नाउ टुडे इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिस्कस कॉन्टेक्ट बिटवीन स्टैटिस्टिकल एंड थर्मोडाइनमिकल फिजिक्स मीनिंग कंडीशन ऑफ इक्लियर नाउ वी कंसिडर टू फिजिकल सिस्टम्स वी हैव असाइंड हियर ए वन एंड ए टू वी आर कंसिडर टू फिजिकल सिस्टम विच वी आर सेंग दैट आर सेपरेटली इन इक्लिप्रियम सेपरेटली इन इक्लियम मीन्स ए वन इज इन अदर इक्लियम इज बी एंड ए टू इज सेपरेट इन इक्लियम लेट द मैक्रो स्टेट ऑफ ए वन लेट द माइक्रो स्टेट ऑफ ए वन इज असाइंड बाई ए वन एन वन वी वन ई वन दिस इज द माइक्रो स्टेट ऑफ ए वन हियर एन वन करेस्पॉन्स टू नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स इन ए वन वी वन इज करेस्पॉन्डिंग वॉल्यूम ई वन इज द एनर्जी करेस्पॉन्डिंग टू सिस्टम ए वन एंड द माइक्रो स्टेट ऑफ ए टू इज असाइंड बाई सिमिलरली एन टू वी टू ई टू सिमिलरली हियर एन टू नंबर ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स फॉर द ए टू सिस्टम वी टू is the volume and e2 similarly it is the corresponding energy for this system a2 so that it has possible micro states suppose the number of micro states are assigned by omega 1 omega 1 is corresponding for the micro state for this a1 and it can be assigned by h n1 v1 e1 this is the number of micro state for system a1 similarly for another one system a2 we have the number of micro state are assigned by omega 2 and 2 v2 e2 now one more thing you have to consider you have already studied first and second law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics it is a conservation of energy meaning to say that this dq it is equals to du plus pb pdb du plus dw P, uh, dw instead of dw we are writing it pdb now what is tds we when we introduce entropy means this dq upon t this is ds change in entropy is dq upon dt that's why we have written here dq this is equals to tds this is equals to du plus pdv minus mu dn this is equation 1 where mu dn appears where number of particles vary now from this we can also write a du This is equals to T D S minus P D V plus mu D N. This is the same equation as earlier we have mentioned. Now you can write in logic. We will replace U by E. The same thing is here because we have taken in our consideration the energy is E. That's why we are writing in terms of E. It is much more simpler to understood. That's why we are writing D E. This is equals to T D S minus P D V plus mu D N. From this equation, suppose this equation is three, we have the following results. By keeping some constants n and v, then from this equation three, we have the definition of temperature comes out to be T equals to delta upon delta S when keeping these parameters n and v constant. Then these terms become zero. These terms become zero. Then T is delta upon delta S. Similarly, we have pressure. This pressure can be written as P is equals to T times of delta S upon delta V, keeping constants n and e, number of particles and energy. Suppose it is constant, then the definition of pressure gives P equals to T times of delta S upon delta V. Similarly, we have the case this mu it is called the chemical potential. We will assign it. It is called the chemical potential. Now this mu this is equals to from this equation. It have the value minus T times of this del S upon del N. And what are the parameter constant here? This is energy and volume. Now, if you know these three properties, all the thermodynamic properties can be derived from corresponding microstates. Now we are discussing here the case first. For first case, we are taking now bring the two systems. We have already two systems, A one and A two. Two system into thermal contact, which is there. Now we are bringing two systems, A one and A two, into thermal contact with each other. Now we are allowing, we are allowing the possibility of exchange of energy between them, two systems, A one and A two. This can be 
by replacing the interacting walls by conducting rigid and incompressible wall we are have the possibility of a interchange a interacting walls by conducting rigid and incompressible wall as the walls are rigid so this number of particles n1 n2 and v1 and v2 for the systems a1 and a2 do not change here because the walls are rigid here now energy is because the walls is conducting conducting means e1 and e2 are restricted by the condition e1 plus e2 this is equals to e0 this is equals to constant and this may be written as e1 plus e2 not where e0 this is the energy of the composite system composite system means we are taking this a0 this is equals to a1 plus a2 this is the energy what is here e0 is constant and this value is the value for the composite system a0 the micro state for the composite system is this omega0 e1 e2 this can be because this is the number of my uh, micro states micro state this is the multiplicative quantity because this is the pro, uh, you can also say this is the probability and probability for the composite system is multiplicative then we have omega 1 e 1 omega 2 e 2 similarly we can write it as omega 1 e 1 omega 2 why we have written here e naught minus e 1 this is the thing you have to consider from this equation this is what is here e 1 plus e 2 this equals to e naught in place of e 2 we can write it as e naught minus e 1 now one more thing you have to just consider entropy s and thermodynamic probability omega are having a definite relationship this relationship is s equals to k ln omega yeah either you can just write k ln omega 1 e 1 omega 2 e naught minus e 1 yeah either because you know that whatever property entropy is entropy is an extensive parameter extensive parameter the it also the we also say them additive parameter that's why this can be written as k ln omega 1 e 1 plus k ln omega 2 e naught minus e 1 what is this this is s is equals to s 1 plus s 2 now for maximum number of micro state that will corresponds to equilibrium state this can be written as del partial derivative of omega naught upon this partial derivative with respect to e1 this is equals to zero this is also you can say is this is the condition of maxima now this can also be written as from the previous equation applying the condition of maxima this can be written as omega 2 e2 partial derivative of omega 1 e1 upon del e1 plus omega 1 e1 del omega 2 e2 upon del e2 times of del e2 upon del e1 this is equals to 0 by applying this consideration e0 is e1 plus e2 the total energy is constant e2 it can be written as e0 minus e1 either del e2 upon del e1 this is equals to minus 1 and we are putting this value from in this equation then it corresponds to omega 2 e2 del omega 2 e1 upon this omega 1 e1 upon del e1 minus this omega 1 e1 del omega 2 e2 upon del e2 this is the partial derivative why it is minus sign minus sign is from this equation now it can also be written as if we rearrange the terms meaning to say that you will have either rearrange these terms then you will have this result 1 upon omega 1 e1 del omega 1 e1 upon del e1 this is equals to 1 upon omega 2 e2 partial derivative del omega 2 e2 upon del e2 now let us consider that at equilibrium this value e1 is e1 average this value e1 ki jo energy ki value if you are taking the average value then e1 is e1 average from this we can also read 1 upon omega 1 e1 del omega 1 del e1 this is n1 v1 e1 is e1 bar e1 average this is equals to 1 upon omega 2 e2 del omega 2 upon this partial derivative e2 n2 v2 e2 is equals to e2 average value of energy now let us define this concept del upon del e 
एल एन ऑफ ओमेगा दिस इज नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स वॉल्यूम वी ई इज इक्व टू ई एवरेज दिस इज ए पैरामीटर विच वी कॉल इट एट बीटा पैरामीटर दिस बीटा पैरामीटर इज ऑप्टेंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिकल अप्रोच दिस इज द टर्म एराइजिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द स्टैटिस्टिकल अप्रोच नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू स्टैटिस्टिकल मैकेनिक्स द टू सिस्टम इन थर्मल कॉन्टैक्ट विल बी इन इक्वलियम इफ दिस फंक्शन डेल अपॉन डेली एल एन ऑफ ओमेगा आर इक्वल इफ दिस पैरामीटर इज इक्वल देन वी कैन से दैट द टू सिस्टम्स आर इन थर्मल इक्वलियम नाउ दिस टर्म एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी मैंशन इट दिस इज कॉल्ड द बीटा पैरामीटर वी ऑल्सो हैव दिस वैल्यू दिस इज फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस इक्वेशन एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी सोन टू यू दिस फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वेन वी हैव रिटर्न द कंबाइंड फॉर्म ऑफ this equation first and second thermo uh, law of thermodynamics then we have written dq is equals to ds du plus pdv minus mu dn from this we have obtained this this is the for temperature we are writing again this factor it will have to just remind you from this equation we have obtained these values from this this del s upon del e this equals to 1 upon t this is the thermodynamical approach now we know that S equals to k l n of omega. Then l n of omega is s upon k. From equation this, if we just substitute this value l n of in place of l n omega, we just write s upon k. Then this equation beta this comes out to be del s upon del e one upon k. Yeah, either what is the value of del s upon del e? This is one upon t. That's why beta is equals to one upon k t. For thermal equilibrium, what does it mean? Meaning to say that temperatures are equal here for system one and system two. Corresponding temperatures are T one and T two. If both are equal, then we can have this one upon K T one is equals to one upon K T two. Yeah, either we can also write this beta one is equals to beta two. Meaning to say that if the two system are thermal equilibrium, this the value of this beta parameters are also equal, and this term it is the consideration here. This term term is one of the fundamental factor for the two systems to be in thermal equilibrium. Now the case second and case third will be discussed in the next lesson because it will be either so long so you will feel bored. That's why first consider this one. when you understand properly then we shall proceed to the case second which is corresponding to mechanical equilibrium and then case third which will be introduced i will just give you introduction about mechanical equilibrium and the chemical equilibrium in my next lecture so please have this proper understanding of thermal equilibrium